to look away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tech or the disrespect before you play back button check. Button check. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to a beautiful morning of checking these buttons. It is Friday, and we done made it to the weekend. Give yourself a kiss, look in the mirror. Thank God, and thank you for tuning in. We's ready to check these buttons. We got a delicious, we got a meal. We got such a juicy topic today. I can't, when I first read it, I was like, damn. Then I was like, damn. Then I read deeper, and I was like, damn. Damn. And so thus, therefore, and so we are here, and no need to adjust your screen. Yes, I am wearing this sweater yet again this week because I uh, don't have any other clothes because I ran out of detergent. I don't have any soap. I gotta go to the store. I get paid today. I'll, I'll go. I don't really have too much gas money. I live kind of far. I'm kind of behind on my car note right now. I need to pay rent. I'm poor. But real talk, I mean that was real talk, but real talk, this is just one of my favorite sweaters. But anyway, we're about to check these buttons in this dirty ass sweater. Let's go. Mm, let's get ready to rumble. All right, so this story involves some FGC pros that you know really well, some that you might not know too well, but some that you're about to get to know really well. Well, 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 I don't, I don't know what else to say to that. Okay, so this one starts right here with Jacob Dillis when he posted this just yesterday saying, you're a piece of shit. Oh my God. Oh, it's too early for this. I don't even know what this man is talking about, who is referring to, but he started off the sentence with, you are a piece of shit. I don't know what this man is selling, but I'm buying. Anyway, online shots fired, take cover. Here we go. You're a piece of shit. Don't fucking say shit like this. Fucking idiot. I'm actually angry about this. Fucking stupid. Don't ever talk about my friends like that even if it's a joke or not in your book fuck you Woo ladies and gentlemen oh, oh damn we looking like some swiss cheese right about now shots fired all right let's get a little background all right ladies and gents so the individual or the player known as bushing or bushing style i know he's been in the fgc for quite some time i believe in ultra he was a guy player if i'm not mistaken he was actually pretty good with them and whatnot so apparently he was in the chat and he made a comment about sherry Jennix. i'll put it on the screen right now Basically, he said that Sherry was backstage passing out a couple of handies to raise team prowess. Prowess? Prowess? Nowess? No, Nois? I don't know. Anyway, you get the point. So everybody responds. Dankadillis sees this, responds like you just saw the, the shots fired. Everybody else followed as well, and nobody was having it. They were like, this is bullshit, real stupid shit. You should know better than this. People are like, for fuck's sake, Bushin, you've always been very kind to me in these times we played in person. I wish you'd keep that energy online. This is utterly disappointing. And as you can imagine, it just keeps going. It doesn't stop there. Sagem adds again, saying, what's even worse is Bushin is one of those, I don't get why women don't talk to me, I'm really such a nice guy. And from there, people pretty much call it, they're like, yo, now we're just waiting for, I was just kidding, or it's a joke. And like clockwork, Bushin style replies, and he says, I don't care for this backlash, I was just kidding, like anyone else in Twitch chat be doing, some people can't take a joke in 2019. And then from there, they pretty much break it down, like, yo, this is not a joke though, that's the difference here, like if it was a joke, that's one thing, especially if it was in person, like face to face, but doing this, you can actually get banned, some people actually get permit bans of certain streams for talking like this right here he breaks it down saying i'm the real victim here i was just joking like kids do in 2019 is so pc shake my head you're a grown man yikes dude hope you can self-reflect from this and improve yourself and then bush replies saying i'm doing fine in life i don't need a bunch of friends in my life to keep me happy i'm happy in my own life and doing better than ever for myself if people want to take a joke that seriously i can't control their reaction i don't care if i'm hated forever for this okay so we're about to check out this clip now why are we checking out this clip or not so you might ask because it has to do directly with this sherry jennix replies with this and she says good morning shanghai am i saying that right anyway a lot of times these comments are made to those that only exist online sometimes it's made by someone you know here's an example of what normally happens to those who have comments like that you can catch the work in the game or in real life if you want and this woman proceeds to post a match between her and none other than Bush and Style. Let's get it. Ooh, she's already oh, up 1-1. One, one. Oh my God. She's already up 1-0. No. It's coming down to the last right, round right, right here. Oh, Sherry. One round Sherry. apiece. Sherry, you need to calm down. Ooh. Oh my God. Nice crouching down. 2-0. Sherry over Bushin, the man that's talking this shit. And gets scratched the hell off. Sherry Jennings wins the set. 
damn. Because, because this is something that had to be. If you're gonna talk that shit, you gotta back up that shit. So if you get smacked up, you gotta back up. And, and on top of that, so first of all, let me know if you agree with that. Second of all, do you think Bush and Sal actually has a point? Do you think it was just a joke and people have a tendency to overreact in 2019, which I believe, of course, that's true. You know, the whole Dave Chappelle thing and him joking and people are like, oh, yo, we're taking offense. I believe that. But at the same time, I don't think that gives you a green light to just say any fucking thing you want and to label it as a joke. For this right here, I gotta say, for the setup, the presentation, the punchline, from my experience, it doesn't really seem like it was a joke. It seemed more like it was a troll, like it was a jab. Something very common that you see in the Twitch stream like all the time doesn't really seem like an actual like written out joke. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely let me know one more time. What do you think about any of that shit I just said? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let's talk like some adults. Do you think it was just a joke or do you think it was just something that was in poor taste? Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, man, have a blessed day. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. And then Bush replies saying, I'm doing fine in life. I don't need a bunch of friends in my life to keep me happy. I'm happy in my own life and doing better than ever for myself. If people want to take a joke that seriously, I can't control their reaction. I don't care if I'm hated forever for this.